Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. So, what's the little video, this story here, all about? And I wonder, seeing how it would be apparent for the savvy of been paying attention to my account here that Yes, I've not been very active. Also, hello, Seth Skyler, indeed. Yeah, you may be wondering, because indeed I am still on free-to-play, and that, as one might suspect, also, do indeed. So, what's the general gist of this whole, I don't want to say story, but what's the centre of attention for this one, seeing how, if you've been paying just slight attention to the free-to-play scene, and that, it's been kind of... I don't even know what you describe as dead and that, just that uh, nearly hee-haw has been happening to free play. I think the last notable update, I want to say, well, a few things come to mind, you know, like free to play Castle Wars, you know, I won't mean come over as a the Bio Fighter, Bri Brio Fighter, fuck, forget the name of that boss, that one. <laughs> uh, last one standing was also quite popular, Till got removed earlier last year, and uh, yeah, that's kind of it, but. There has been a new quest that has, I guess, sparked a lot of interest in free play, though it has been marred with some minor controversy, indeed. Yeah, unfortunately, Jaggers can really pull things off smooth without something going horribly wrong and that, but alas, that is the state of Jagex as a company. <laughs> mind you, actually, bear in mind, let's fix that. Yeah, bearing in mind that when it concerns Jagex, they're a bit of a cumbria has got a golden goose, as we all no doubt know. But yeah, they're kinda their way of handling it's so being a bit shall we say off in now these past I want to say since twenty eleven it's been kinda oh no, I'd say nah, I would say probably Towards the end of 2012, and really took a knife does because unfortunately, free uh, the free no free trade and the removal world day was kind of a hasty decision. I would say maybe it was not the best execution, but I suppose if you're being threatened with credit card organizations that will no longer allow you to receive the most of your money, you're going to fucking act. It doesn't matter if the method's not really great, but alas, here we are. So, just to kind of get a bit of a general summary as to what the hell's going on here. Yeah, I'm just kind of getting items for both myself and my out tiers. I figured why not? And that, maybe so do a quest for both my main and my out, and that pretty much fucking about and that doing it at the same time. So yes, doing two counts at once, kind of like what I did, I think one of the random events before, but I believe I may be misremembering that. It was probably one of the real old ones like from 20 and before. Yeah, 2018 and all, but good. Uh, yeah, so because of the fact that in free to play, member weapons don't actually do anything. Yeah, pretty much the whole thing is that, yeah, I'm going to be punching people with the most expensive weapon in the whole game. Not if you include the third act for each pickaxe, which is going for an astronomical fucking two billion plus, and that's not even the weirdest thing in that. Oh god, if I could even get started with the way this, the state of the old school is going to <laughs> oh fuck. But, I'll leave that for a later time. Right now, actually, well, I've got what, some things I really need to get around to fucking showing off, but I'll ask to wait until this video is uh, done and finished and uh, for showing it as part of the epilogue and that, but yeah. I reckon since everybody's familiar with this quest and that, it's not actually that hard at all. Actually, it's fairly short. Disappointingly so, but... <laughs> to be fair, it is a free-to-play quest. And unfortunately, I was anticipating this would be a sort of intermediate or even experienced quest. It's not. It's basically a novice. And that... Uh, worst thing you have to worry about is a level 25 goal on that. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have that remarkable defence for most of its kind, so... Yeah, it's kind of piss easy, but oh well, enough talking about the questions, I'll do the video, let the video talk for itself. Yeah, I may so take this opportunity to cover some news since I am really falling behind on this, and yeah, pretty much you know how the drill goes. May as well just, there's a certain, there's a, 
a certain controversial news broadcaster YouTuber would say, let's get right into the news, or something like that. I forget, I don't honestly watch him, so I probably butchered that, but hey-ho. So, all right, next one, what's coming up here in the long list? Right, so, Souls Wars, yes, I believe I finished off the last video with kind of hinting that there was more to Souls War and what went on with the shenanigans, seeing it's kind of a dead minigame, the more, well, I wouldn't say dead, but it's, it's quote-unquote alive, but only just, not really a fun minigame, so I reckon my chances at recording it are long gone, unfortunately, but, oh well. So, what is this, uh, rumoured dupe bug on that? Well, actually, to be fair, I don't, I don't know if this was just to do with Souls War, or if this was just <laughs> around the time, and I think this was just, it just so happened to be the same update as the one that kind of was supposed to patch the old school Inscape thing. Oh my god, this camera, there we go. So, <laughs> what I reckon here is that it was something to do with the not long released Dragon Trophy at the time, yeah, you remember those nice trophies you got from the second league as well as the first one. Yeah, this is a bug that wasn't really made a thing in the first one, but apparently now it is in the second, and the reason for that is primarily because of the fact that for some benign reason, the Dragon Trophy had a PvP value of 200k, so I was like, okay, you know, fair enough, if you're a fucking idiot to bring it into the world and you lose it, then, you know, tough shit, that's on you. But, there's a little catch. You see, you can just reclaim a trophy for free. There's no like, oh, you, you can get back, but you have to pay a student key. No, 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 no. Actually, on the contrary, let's see it. Yeah, on the contrary, yeah, you could just get killed, claim it like a minute, and then another minute, get yourself killed again, and that by just the right convenient places, and you know, get turn key over and over and over. And you know, pretty much, you'd probably be making somewhere around, I'd wager, three-ish mil an hour? Maybe more if you're really efficient? Yeah, that just... What the fuck is Jax thinking? You know? As I say, it's not surprising to me the trick, certain amount of fuck-ups they've had in the past, but even then, it's a bit concerning to say the least, but... Alas, I suppose some people say everybody's a critic and that, but... Yeah, you don't have to be a fucking chef to criticise food, so... Goes without saying, and that you know, companies and how they handle themselves. It's yeah, you need no business degree to be able to judge a shitty company from a good one. Or as we see here, it's it's a complicated case, or at least semi complicated at that. But alas, so okay, so alongside this, and this is how you know it's it's kind of old. Yeah, alongside the previous poll, poll seventy four, bringing up changes related to. The collection log, something to do with the side panel, I think, updating it to make it a bit more uh, accessible <laughs> for, what was it, mobile user players. Also, I think the Blood Fury <laughs> had an uh, increased capacity, so that instead of using the space, I had to wait to run out, lest you risk wasting some of it. You can now do, I think, up to, I think it was 30,000, so every Blood Gem thing would get you 10,000 at a time. Yeah, also, Night to Mayor improvements, which... I don't know, that's... Well, again, we'll get on to that, but I suppose you might already suspect what I'm about to talk about. Yeah, also, indeed, there was new items brought about this at the time. Yeah, Dark Flip is from a spear, Dark Claws, because apparently, for some reason, Scoso has an item that lets you recolor the Slayer Helm, but there is no item to have it hanged on, so sort of a... House trophy and that, which was disappointing, and that's that probably what I would have done with it first, but oh well. And pretty much, yeah, the other things aside from that is now you can use it as a sort of cosmetic and that instead of having, I think it's it's something to do with some war shoes, but I forget, I think it's flippers and that from Bogers. I could be fucking wrong, but oh well. But yeah, aside from that, there's also a mole recolor, which finally let you have the the giant mole transmog into a nice little pink mole, which a lot of people were asking for. I wasn't really one of them, but I suppose since I have the pet myself, I have nothing to lose with showing off and all, but alas, it's been a while since I logged in, as you can probably tell. Actually, over half a year at that, so 
take with that as you will. So yeah, that also Corporal Beast got its own jar as well as the Thermonuclear Smoke Devil which out to be pretty interesting. And now to get those two in that when I do eventually come back. And finally some update with Souls War Island of Granny. <laughs> the dungeon. Yeah, apparently some people complained that the dungeon was a bit crap and that <laughs> turns out how far it is. So yeah, just kind of working with that and you know, people now finding it a bit better, although it's still suffering from numerous problems that hey ho. So aside from all of that, yeah, Old School RuneScape does indeed suffer from an all time high in regards to the login issues, even though Steam is a workaround, it's been confirmed pretty much that you can just, if you're having problems with that, just use it, and that, as I say, should be that. Alright, let's see. Oh boy. So, yeah, pretty much outside of that, I do feel like, I've not really experienced it myself, but all you need to see is your username, which is easy as done, or your email, which isn't so easy, but if someone gets a fucking hold of it for leaks and that, Good fucking luck. Unless you have Steam, but yeah, I know some people aren't keen to play that because there is no third party software that works with it, at least not at the moment. Runelight and the likes don't really work with it. You know, you have to use the official client for it to work with Runelight. Same with the, same thing with the mobile, pretty much. But I'm not sure about that. I haven't been paying very much attention <laughs> ever since the whole, what was it? Oh, fuck. Yeah. With the whole issue in relation to, yeah, pretty much the interface scaling was as I thought. So what was could have been my return to RuneScape's kind of been a bit marred by that, but eh anyway. well. So yeah, pretty much usual stuff. Customer support's really needs to ramp up, but Jagex being a bit of a bit of a cheapskate really when you consider how little staff are paid and pretty much they want to get as most money from possible, but little investments possible. Yeah, it doesn't look good for an RMRPG that could flourish with the right flourish. Yeah, flourish with the right kind of care, attention, investment, and ultimate. You know, this, I guess the kind of care is there, but certain issues are being. I don't know. It feels like there's some cases of quotas, whether it be relation to banning of gold farmers, bots, or just kind of like you know the Reddit thing, and that's a lottery. You know, if you get picked. Well, you're, it's a very lucky day, but if not, you know, every 1 in 100 and that that gets there, they're like 20, 30, 50, 100, 90 or so. Yeah, they get, get shafted and either get mocked or it's just, uh jack smacks down, so they're not what they used to be, I'll say that much. <laughs> not since with Mod Gen, Mod Infinity and the likes anyhow, but even they were scummy about it, so. Yeah, I guess they're all fucked to begin with, but. Anywho, next news on the list, so, oh yes, the Jewel Arena, yes, that nasty little shithole that a lot of people just do not like, myself included, and it just promotes all the wrong things in the RuneScape gaming community. So, who are we talking about this time, eh? Well, it's actually a couple of fellows here, we're not going by the name of Mow You Down and, e and if, I'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation, it's Young Jalapeno, yes, Young, not Young, Young Jalapeno, indeed, using a very sneaky and cunning tactic that is using player moderator accounts or just people who they're friends or who happen to be player mods to silence people exposing them of a recent sand casino scam, yes. I forget how the scam exactly unfolded, I don't know if it was something to do with the settings or if it was a, no, it wasn't a DDoS kind of scenario, but it was something tricky and that something weird in regards to how they promised, you know, a certain style and then they kind of had a little plus one in their inventory to help them easily win the fight. And yeah, people were not happy about that. It was a scam and they have tried to censor it and not a good look when you consider the, how greedy parts of the old school community can be for, I guess you could say for dumber, as in <laughs> all the people who get lured, or for smarter, as in other, these scammers who thrive on this black market thing, because you know, as I say, RuneScape currency for old school RuneScape's got a bit of a weird thing where it's got a black market attraction to it, you know, how untraceable it is. 
similar to cryptocurrency and like, so yeah, there's criminal activity to be involved in that, God knows, even though I think my bank's probably shrunk <laughs> below 2 billion at this point because of the whole economy crisis at the moment, I still say it's about 1.9, maybe a bit below that billion, so even 50, I'd say probably 40 pence at this rate. Yeah, probably generously per million, that would be 400, I would say about 760 pounds, and that's still a fair chunk, but no, I've never been one to buy or sell any of that crap, because I just feel like it fucks with the account, because it's like, well, once you start, buy stop, and that's uh, just, nah, fucks with it and everything, so not for me, thank you very much, but alas, that's one bit of news, so. Oh yeah, here's another one of censorship. Oh fuck, can't get enough of that. So, right, in regards to this one here, yeah, this was a peak here known as a coxie. Yes, a fun little fella that actually. Oh, hold on. Yeah, so this fella here and that, pretty much <laughs> what his whole gimmick was that he was using. Oh, guess right, yeah, it's still moderate, but this time it is a subreddit moderator and I, although it's not being proven <laughs> here a bit it's kind of like there's some level of shadiness in that and I mean as I say I feel like the whole moderator thing is a very very thin ice line and that to cross just because of the fact that when you're dealing with this sort of stuff and that there's a lot of hidden biases that these sort of people have I mean to be fair they're only human but to kind of push that size and saying, ah, oh, they're, they're only human, just give them a slap on the rest, or just, you know, say it as a one-off warning, you know, but really, is it? I feel like if you're kind of put in that position, the responsibility should be taken more <laughs> seriously, just because of, what well, I know is very controversial, but there's a thing in the real world known as abuse of authority, no matter how casual it may seem, or how, you know, it's just a rookie mistake, these things are kind of serious in that, because it's just like, if you go lenient, they just say, yeah, alright, you can just kind of cheat and just do what the fuck you want and that, because there's no accountability. And I know accountability is a funny one, because all kinds of people and all manners of business seem to fuck this up all the time. It's like, yeah, you can hope you're accountable, but when there's that little soft spot, when it's like, is that a friend, someone who's got a lot of influence, fame, you know, someone who's got connections, or... I'd say probably the only reasonable excuse would be somebody who's got blackmail on you and you don't want things to fuck up. Even then, there's a bit of, uh, depends on that, but yeah, that kind of thing. And it's that whole grey area where you're trying to hide things from the public and not be fully transparent, even if you say you are. It's just, yeah, so pretty much this coxie fellow. <laughs> what was the actual reason why he was censoring people on the old school runescape subreddit? Well... Pretty much it was because people had caught evidence of him using what's known as AHK, which I actually don't know what that means. And I know AFK, away from keyboard, I have no idea what, I think the key case for keyboard, but I'm not entirely sure. I think maybe it's some key, like one hit key or something? Probably, who the fuck knows. But yeah, basically the scripts in that as well. And he didn't like the sort of bad publicity, probably because he could get him banned. Maybe, who knows, I mean... Jax has a bit of a sketch history when it comes to banning these days, and I feel like if you're a maxed main, like absolute max, like 2277 maxed, then yeah, you're pretty much safe for the most part, unless if you fucking piss them off, like some that's like, gonna really give them a bad image, like, I'll say for a certain person who I believe got ranked 13 or 14, you know, of all time, like 13, 14th person to reach 200 million. <laughs> so, Make of that as you will, but alas, there's that news. So I reckon I can fit in one more here before this. I guess I'm curious on that. Oh fuck, I thought this video was going to be done in one go. Apparently not. It's going to be a bit longer than that. So, alright, one more video just before I get to the other bit. So yeah, pretty much in regards to this May rebalance, you probably heard of this back a few weeks ago, yeah, this rebalance blog and that uh, was met with complete outrage as pretty much the moderators ignored any kind of feedback that were given in the test world and the concerns expressed to them from the week before, I think this would have been near the end of April, yeah, near the end of April's 
Q&A stream and that. Yeah, involving a certain, I guess I'm still kind of sketched by him and that, yeah, Mod Mike D and that. Too much a bit of a business fellow if you ask me, but hey ho. So, right, pretty much exposes kind of certain flaws in regards to what I guess you could call <laughs> double speak. Yeah, that's a bit of a weird concept and I'll, I'll try to explain as best I can, but essentially it's this idea that you're saying one thing but you're actually meaning something else and I suppose it's weird considering that this was also used to try and sneak in monetization like you know the whole not just I'm not talking about recent stuff like the whole what was it monetization you know like oh we'll do these little semi exclusive things I would only time like three months I'm talking about bonds as well that was also an incident that was of concern and it seems like they're kind of from what I get, it seems like they're just trying to nerf the toxic blowpipe so that they can make a good item for range. But it also, it's also tied in that they fucked up. Whoever balanced Zora with the weapon, it kind of fucks up for that one weapon. And uh, I guess in their mindset, it's like, oh, it can be like kind of not too expensive to get, but the real expense comes from the animation and the Zora skills. And whilst that's true to a degree, it's also problematic in that. Yeah, it seems like it's just too accessible, and I suppose the only real solution I can see is uh, getting a much more powerful one. No, it's not. Basically, nerf the blowpipe to a weaker one, have a new one for the Raid 3 that's about the same strength, less of toxic, and the scales worth for that is probably double or even triple as expensive, but you get about the same strength. And there you go. It means you have to fucking pay a lot of money to get back what you were, but then it's balanced. And that could be like a level 90 or something weapon. And there you go. The problem all solved. But, oh well, I guess we'll see how it goes with that. Eh? Alright, so, I reckon I should call it a quits. Also, damn the camera. Alright, I reckon I have to get to that sorted out. And, yep, yeah, next time, I reckon we'll see what unfolds here, eh? Till then, till then. Alright, welcome back, one and all, to... You know, I didn't actually say the name of what this episode was going to be about, yes. In case you're curious, although I suspect this is probably common knowledge at this point, indeed, below Ice Mountain, as you probably recognise the terrain around it, yeah, obviously this was not here until quite recently, and that is part of this new quest covering... Unknown ruins and all. Although I do believe there's a little bit of lore that delves in around this. I forget. It's not... Fuck off, it's not Carlanger. Yeah, Carlanger for the curious is way off in the Wildy graveyard. Don't go there. You'll probably get PK'd in at some point if you wait around there. No, this is uh, some other place. Camadora or some shit? I probably forget. I'll come up in the, in the dialogue, hopefully, at some point, and maybe you can clarify it there. But yeah, so essentially, yes, I suppose seeing how we're already at the kind of climax of this question or itself and that, yeah. Oh boy, the fun shenanigans are to be had. But yeah, I suppose whilst I'm just faffing about and I, yeah, I may as well get on with the rest of the news as I'm no way I'm going to be covering it all. <coughs> today, but that is to be expected, but oh well, so yeah, pretty much getting right back into it, yeah, so next up here, now does anyone remember this fellow here who goes himself by the very, I guess by new, by new, no, fuck, fuck it, I forgot the word for it, yeah, num numerical fellow 1013 from Frontline, Indeed, if memory serves me correct, he was the winner of the PvP tournament from actually just about a year ago, I think. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what it's called, though. Was it PvP All Stars or some shit? Some of that. Yeah, pretty much he was the winner of that. And I did actually work, watch him win, and that, to be fair, and that. But yeah, the funny thing is, there's been, again, more controversy. But I wonder what it could be for. Well, if you guess the PvP clients and the abuse of them, or just e which use of them at all, then yes, indeed, he was found using PvP clients 
to automate PvP actions, and that which was quickly followed by a threat from him to personally end a mod Tyron's career. Yeah, this was followed through by, I think, the frontline administrator who just called himself Cassidy. And, uh, and yeah, just the whole... It's strange in that how one can so openly intimidate a member of Jags and yet I guess they know that they're easy enough to bend the knee and that because of their influence, as it were. Yeah, if you're aware it's Joe's done that, oh, good fucking luck. And uh, if anything, I think the Ruski can be really tear them apart and that, but what sounds it's strange, I'll say that much. If it's to do with influencers, chances are it's a PVM scene and that, that they'll tear you apart for a bit. If it's PK, it's the clans and that, you know, all the clan mates will fucking tear you asunder and that, just make mince me out uh, It seems to be either way and that, if you're really Joe, that yeah, just happily bash them all apart and that, because then you're everybody's joining on the fun bit. And that's it. It's a clear class of one rule for the least, like, rules for thee but not for me kind of thing. It's... Uh, damn. Also, yeah, the Incarnado Dwarf and that, yes, another one of those queer fellows and that, yes, if you remember from the Night Sword and all that. Yeah, oh yeah, Candozal. Yeah, I got the name wrong. And that, yeah, Candozal. And yet, yeah, indeed, completed just about the same time, just a few seconds apart from each other, which was very fun indeed. But, alas. So, yeah, pretty much this all turned out to be interesting because as it turned out yeah actually as it turned out and that the rules were broken on somebody else's account and as in that was shared to him and this I usually concluded this account being or no rather his friend's account being unbanned question mark question mark question mark <laughs> The reason why I say that's a big problem is because usually if you get banned for, for like Bonner or any kind of it's just like, oh, you know, like just, well, you just should have not done it. Then you say, well, if somebody else did it, then it's like, well, tough shit. And uh, you let somebody on your account, you should have done it. You know, it's better secure, la da 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 And that has a bit of a point. But it's a bit weird when that rule's kind of twisted on its flip side where it's like, oh, you, you just shout a friend and now nah, he did it. All right, fair enough, we'll just unban the account and that just give you a very stern warning and that about it. You know, was it all bark, no bite kind of thing? Yeah, very two-faced and that. And it's very much a case of the influencer is worse than it is. Like, remember what I just said, there was rules, was it, I'll forget all the Victorian words, rules for the, but not rules for me kind of thing, you know, like, yeah, that kind of thing, and it's very much the case of, how would you say it, pretty much, this has led to a bit of a precedent where it's like, well, I mean, personally, if I was to ever bot, number one, it would probably be advised that you used to spend some time to account yourself and that, so that there's some legitimacy to it, because a bot, I can't have bot straight from the beginning, is probably going to get banned quite quickly, whereas a bot account that's been played on for a certain while, but then you get to a certain point where it's like you have um, some sort of legitimacy. I mean, you can go all the way to max, and then it's like, ah, well, you, I guess you're more or less untouchable for the most part. But yeah, it seems to be that if you're an influencer, pfft, yeah, get the fuck out. You know, like, unless you do the absolute worst, which I will get to. Well, I see. Even then it's questionable, but I know that a friend got crucified for pretty much daring to bring on the wheel of training scene, which was interesting because I know it's only been what, I want to say about two and a half years ago, and yet, oh how Jagex has changed. Oh how Jagex has changed indeed. Also, yeah, in case you wonder, this is just me exploring, the Cam does our ruins, also I don't know what time is. Yeah, I'm just basically faffing about and that. Yeah, there's a lot of things in these minds which I'll get onto, but a certain nerf has fucked certain things, I guess you could say. It's pretty much nah, it's not worth doing anymore. Which is unfortunate because at one point it was known as 
the free to play Mother Lone Mine, which is, I guess some people are, are conflicted because at the absolute best, you could actually reach pretty good rates, but for the most part, you were looking at around, what was it? Usually, like, if you're doing it, the Nintendo rate, which is like middle level kind of rune pack X4060, you'd be earning about 15, 20 k an hour. And if you're like really good 99 crystal packs drum pickaxe, you know, which you can't do them in, but it's not free to play, but that's the next point. Then you earn something like close to 35, 40k, which there was a rumor go around, it was like you can get almost 50k, but apparently that was faked <laughs> by some. <laughs> Very angry free to play Iron Man who just wanted to see the fucking thing nerfed, so alas he su <coughs> succeeded in that one. But generally, on the higher scale 99 rune pickaxe, you could, I think you could get around 30k ish an hour, which is still pretty good. So Jax says what Jax does and they nerfed the fuck out of it, and now it's just like it's not terrible, but that AFK method was just yeah, blown out the water, so. Alas, yet you can't really use it as an efficient training method anymore, and that which is unfortunate. Also, this vault thing here, which is requiring, I think, the currency down here and that. I forget, what's it called again? Hold on. Uh, Barrel Knight, yeah, that's it. Barrel Knight. Yeah, it was given a different name before, and that, you know, was it Z Zenite? Z Some similar to Zenite. Cyanite? I oh, forget. But yeah, that was a bit of a. <laughs> A fuck up by again, Jax developers, but there you go. So, yeah. Also, speaking of fuck ups, there's going to be one coming up shortly on that, which I was actually a bit sad about, but the blame could only be left for me. You will wonder what the fuck's happened with this, but I'll let it talk for itself and that, and you'll see. But anywho, yeah, pretty much, yeah, that shenanigans with the frontline clan and, well, how PKs are kind of indirectly ruining their own. Little field as it were on that, you know, I guess how PVMers also kind of do that, but not really, it's more <laughs> curse with the bots and that, you know, like, I guess bots also ruin PvP, but I guess it's not quite as noticeable, albeit it is a lot more crucial than the whole, what is it, PVMC, where it's not, I guess, directly as impacting, but they're a fucking wise world of case place like fucking rats, and rats, oh, well... It's not an inappropriate term to be fair and that. But yeah, watch this and see how I royally fuck this up. Yep. I did indeed just do that. The trusted bow, a fast escape, ended here. I shame that really, but to be fair, I feel like you kinda had to not be a fucking idiot to get this sort of thing done, it's just, what even, what even, ah, uh, fucking hell, it's just like, can you not fuck up, can you not, but, oh well, and yeah, seeing how the bank's looking like, yeah, indeed, I finally got around to equipping some of the, the gilded amor, yeah, if you remember that stuff and that, yeah, pretty much Gilded Armour has kind of been a big bit of a really trendy sort of thing for in-game fashion scape and that. And of course, I was always a bit iffy about that. I think I had a couple of pieces before when I was, before the quitting thing. And then I sold those two and I never got them back until I did, once I got the Isimitar, you know, very much, <laughs> what was it you would say? Yeah, through an elite clue and a very fucking good one at that. By God, and that. That elite clue, fucking fabulous. And I uh, shan't be forgetting that one anytime soon, I'll say that much. Oh, damn. So, yeah, reckon, you see here, oh. That was actually a new one that I want to get as well, the fucking, what was it? Oh, I forget. Yeah, the Gilded Dragon Green Tide Bram Braces. Oh, Christ. That was some fun stuff, indeed. Oh, boy. But I suppose, to be fair, and that is very much a little bit of showing off, as it were. And uh, yeah, you know, but I guess, could you really blame me for wanting to show off my wealth? One thing I'm missing really is a good cape. And I believe the Cape Skulls would fit that, but I'm not entirely sure 
I guess I've kind of need to decide on that one, but I could just pull that as well, and then I could be super fashionable in fucking Clan Wars, which I actually wouldn't mind giving that a second go, but the last I heard was something like back, I want to say January or February, so could have done it, but say not to. Oh well. So yes, indeed, getting on with showing it off. Also, there we go. Yep, also, I think this is a bit big, hold on. There we go. Yeah, yeah, close enough. So, yep, indeed. Seeing here with what appears to be on Castle Wars, and yes, 104 tickets. Oh boy. I gotta say though, pretty much in regards to how certain things have been unfolding and that, yes, I feel like right now it's kind of like going to all the sort of shenanigans because yeah if you look here indeed these were not a thing before also these weren't a thing either although what the, no what the fuck was to know these things weren't a thing yeah that's slightly more expensive 500 but you only need the mid helm the body and the legs for indeed that armor set which took me a fucking long time to get but I eventually did it and now I'm on the hunt for the boots and that because they're about as strong as adamant boots and that from free to play so they're kind of fucking good but it's just they are abnormally expensive to get and that so a lot of AFK is going to be had in this little arena here I can say that much I'll be, I'll be a lot more fashion as you see here with the almost full one I just need the boots and the skull cape and then oh yes fashion skate galore I believe I actually did, I want to say I include all this bar the van braces and that, you know, you remember, this, I think it was the Obers one, which actually also happened to be the last one from, yeah, the last update, I think, near the beginning of October and that, last year. Yeah, fun times indeed. Oh, Christ. So, yeah, pretty much, I guess to kind of end things on our usual sort of thing. Yes, why not Zinus? So, alright, getting back to it for a little bit further also. For, give me the bloody bangs and nah, it's a bit worse today than it normally is, but alas, what can you do, eh? Oh, well. Alright, so, let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, yeah, alright, so, okay, obviously one thing I will actually add just before moving on is the whole what was that hacked sharing kind of thing? Because I feel like, in regards to what I was going to say in terms of botting, that is just one way of doing it. The other is that you can just basically bot your account, just do the reckless method, where you go pay the last five hours, or you can go in for like two weeks or months even. Years is a bit of a stretch, but months could actually be possible for the lucky ones. But when you do eventually get banned, to say, oh, I was hacked in that, you know, please can I get unbanned and that, thank you. And because of the way they've now set a president, it's like, well, if you don't do it, it's really bad fucking fears. It's like, oh, the content creators, they're the ones who like to just fuck about and just do whatever I'm saying by example. But the peasant, like 99.99% of people, get fucking shafted. You know, that is pretty much where it's at. But... Then it also concerns, you know, it seems like that would be borderline idiotic to do if you just build a start account. But again, if you just play it for a good few weeks or months where you've done it legit, but you just feel a bit bored and want to put in a bot, you're more likely to get away with it because then it's like, oh, it's just be inactive, leave it off for a few weeks, and now then suddenly you're back on your botting. <laughs> Doubly so if it's on a VPN and, you know, like all that jazz and that, because then it becomes trebly tricky <laughs> for them to identify if that's you, and they could just say, well, we can't determine who the owner is, just lock the account, GG, you're all fucked. But, I don't know, it just seems like they're not very good at handling things, and they've not got a good grip on the whole bottom gold, gold, farm, gold farming situation as they claim to be, it's similar to how the security of the rune fists and that, it's not as good as they claim it to be, and that, it never really was and that, but, hey ho. So, right, now, okay, here's that safe, where it gets a bit recent, yeah. A double whammer, so to speak, as indeed the co the question just covered there below Ice Mountain. 
brings what I guess was the best in slot for scaling. Was at the time it was like for at least a day or two, it was fucking amazing, like beyond the fucking good. But of course I've got nerves, but that's besides the point. Also, yeah, the double wire. So you say, okay, that's one side of it. Where's the other half? The other half comes in, and I guess this is also quite controversial. So, yeah, what was it? All right, yeah, the last man standing. Yeah, that shit fest. Because indeed, Boris did catch on to that whole thing and the the amount of money that's been made from it. So essentially, Jags just had enough of it, and I said, all right, you're gonna abuse it. Fuck it. You're just now now no more competitive. So you have to basically play on casual. And therefore, the boy seen died. Just like that. Oh man. Crazy stuff though when you think about it, but as I say, what started, you know, all those months ago and uh, I believe December of 2019. Yeah, actually it wasn't that long you think. No, it's, no, 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 no. Actually, it has been for a good while, yeah. So, a good 16 months in that, yeah. Free to, yeah, free to play the last one standing. Yeah, I had a good go. And I mean, I had a couple shots at first as well. First one was two goals to get heels, one of which was successful, then I saw it. The second one didn't quite get there, but then two, I managed to get about 36 mil worth of helps, no, granite moles, handles and that. Yeah, that was not too bad. And the second one, I spent like nine points to get the Sarah Gilded thing and that special attack, which I wasn't around for as long, and this was when the bot farms were starting to rise, but yeah, pretty much took advantage of that, and yeah, managed to score, you know, some kills, and even got myself six wins. But yeah, now it is, you did, like, that's it. <laughs> pretty much just dealt a lethal blow to the PvP free-to-play scene, and well, yeah. Also, I think there was also the added logout restrictions because, yeah, if you remember, and uh, yeah, the whole thing, like, people were, like, logging out and, uh, yeah, bots and, like, you know, where well, pretty much... Well, that happened! Oh, fuck me. <clears throat> Brace me for a moment. Brace with me, indeed, for... I have logged out! You fucking muppet! Oh, damn. Alright, here we go. Apologies for that, folks. And there we go. Probably rush in a bit there quick. Yeah, that's what happens when you just talk a load of tosh. Also, hello, Staker. Nice seeing you here. Shouldn't you be pissing off to members? Oh, fuck. Yeah, 4 save, 1693. Oh, joy. But, yeah, pretty much. Doubt a lethal bro and that and just... That as I say, was that, eh? Oh, man. I guess... Oh, yeah, I guess also, fucking point the camera at the right place. Yeah, my God, I swear since I've been taking a break from this, my corner skills have gone down the absolute fucking drain. Like, holy fuck. But, ah, well. I reckon probably I still have one last little video planned in that, considering how inactive I've been in. You know, the whole thing with... PvP scenes and just... What the fuck? Uh, well... Eh? Cheerio! Goodbye! Goodbye! So, alright, I reckon I'll probably call it quits there. I mean, given that I've kind of more or less... I don't know... With PS3 console gaming, like... And you'll know why PS3, when you send the recent thing I was with PSN stores and likes, it's kind of hard to see me playing Rusky when I'm just getting so into various games and the likes. I, to be fair, could you really blame me in that? Just, well, what's everyone's going on the moment? I mean, fuck, could try with Castle Wars and that, see what kind of fun I can get onto with that, but I don't know. I guess we'll need to see about that, you know, and just, yeah, the fun shenanigans, indeed. And uh, I mean, what the hell, you know, but, ah, uh, well, I suppose having said that, though, I shall bid you adieu as I shall be getting off and either I will be grinding on well I guess you could say it's an interesting little game called Monster Rancher 2 yes it's just released like a whole bunch of PS1 games and as I say obviously 
I say that for a particular reason, but it's something that I'm wanting to try and do a bunch of commentaries on, and I feel like that will take away from RuneScape, but to be honest, yeah, RuneScape's not been doing it for me, and I can kind of see why, but the reason precisely, well, I reckon I'll say that for our next video, so, till then folks, till then.